who is co-founder of Wallet Connect, a uh, web street communications protocol, uh, which uh, already uh, connects uh, more than 170 wallets and over 450 dApps. Great to see you here, Pedro. Thanks for having me. So can you tell us about your background and when did you get into crypto and how? Yeah, so I used to work in fintech in London and then I got interested in building better financial products and then the regulations kind of stopped me. So I ended up like finding about Ethereum that you can just build whatever you want and build a better personal finance experience. Uh, so how did the idea of Wallet Connect started? So when I left the fintech world, I started working on a wallet. And at the time, there wasn't that many wallets and MetaMask was the dominant one. And we wanted to make the experience more mobile first. So Wallet Connect was just enabling mobile wallets to have a chance. And then eventually it became a foundation, a Ethereum Foundation grant, and I started working open source full time. And when did you get into crypto? Which year was it? It was in 2017, and then, mm -hmm. then I started Wallet Connect in 2018. Yeah. So, what was your first investment? Bitcoin or Ethereum? <laughs> it was Ethereum. I, I'm not saying that a Bitcoin has not its place, but Ethereum really caught me the passion. So why Ethereum is your passion? Because when you're building financial products, uh, transactions are a very important part of it, but you need to, to build something more, and smart contracts enable that. Enable lending, enable options, enable all of these tools that you need to build like a full personal finance experience. Uh, what's your opinion on other layer one later solutions? So I think there's a space for everyone. Like a lot of these layer ones actually optimize for different things that Ethereum can't solve. So I think that like building a multi-chain world where there's not just Ethereum and you can actually have different layer twos that optimize for gaming and DAOs or even having like, for example, Solana, who actually has a different perspective of what the blockchain should look like. It's not only healthy, but it brings more innovation. Yeah, yeah. and do you have any favorite chain besides Ethereum? So I think Solana and Cosmos are the two ecosystems that I've been attracted the most. Mm -hmm. Solana has driven a lot of different applications that weren't possible in Ethereum. And then Cosmos has perhaps my favorite implementation of build your own blockchain. And their inter-blockchain communication is quite fantastic. And today you as well uh, presented some new plans for the development of uh, Wallet Connect that you were going to release your chat to enable Web3 users to communicate as well with each other. Can you tell more about our audience about this? Yeah, so Wallet Connect V2 is not only better than Wallet Connect V1, but it actually expands to be more modular. That means that you don't just sign transactions, you can authenticate into websites, you can chat with other users on the Web3, and you can receive push notifications directly into Wallet. Basically building a much bigger experience of what the wallet can do other than just holding tokens and sending transactions. So when do you fully release it? So we released the new version 2 for sign yeah. today and then we have the chat around October and hopefully we have push notifications next year. Nice. Yeah. And as well you have uh, your own uh, cloud and uh, API toolkit so for yeah. the developers. Can you tell more about that? Yeah, so even though Wallet Connect is fully open source, to make the experience better for developers, we created Wallet Connect Cloud. Developers can register and get an access to all of our infrastructure so they don't have to run their own nodes. Mm -hmm. And by integrating with Wallet Connect Cloud, you basically have an integration with Wallet Connect Sign, Chat and Push in five minutes or less. And do you have a plan to release token for Wallet Connect? There is conversations about how we can make Wallet Connect Cloud into a decentralized network, and I definitely feel there will be space for a token. And uh, can you share the views uh, with us on the current market? Uh, how do you see it, and when will we see the next bull market? Well, like any other immature market, it has its cycles, and I think this is only natural. It's unfortunate that the, some companies will have to handle treasury management a little bit differently, mm -hmm. but I think at the end of the day, we're always growing, and that's what you can feel at these conferences. People are just as motivated regardless of the market. Yeah, that's true. Do you yeah. have any favorite altcoin things? Uh, what altcoin is like? Uh, like where you invest. Oh, <laughs> no. uh, I honestly, I wouldn't say I'm much of a trader. I'm a very risk averse trader, mm -hmm. but I was always very big fan of Polygon and I think they have a lot of potential. So the Matic token definitely has a place. Yeah, yeah that's true. And can you share some upcoming plans for Wallet Connect? 
Yeah, so with Wallet Connect Cloud, not only we have like these four APIs, but we're also building like an explorer, essentially building a way for you to discover what to do in Web3. And we're gonna create a ranking mechanism that allows you to see which are the best wallets with the best ratings and which applications are safe and which applications are a little bit more insecure. Yeah. Great, yeah. Privacy and security are quite vital topics. Yes. Thank you for interesting conversation. Thank you for so much.